All right, so before we start this video, I'm going to tell you guys a brief story. So today, I literally just sold two bottles of fragrance in my dumb self. I did not make reviews of them. So in the future, I'll probably buy a little decants of both Blue de Chanel Parfum and YSL YEDP. I'm pretty sure I did the YEDP. I did like a mini review of my shorts, but I'm going to make reviews for those two bottles. So back to the video. Today, I'm showing you guys Governor's Island. Bond number nine. This is going to be my review of it. So I've had this for probably six months. I have not even used so much of it because my plan is just changing out my collection now. But I have used a good amount to give you guys a review. I've worn this a couple times. So Governor's Island, Bond number nine. I feel like this fragrance does not get a lot of love as it deserves. This is one of their lesser known fragrances. Projection on it for a good one to two hours I get. It projects probably within a good arm's length, so it's not too massive like Sauvage Elixir or um, Red Tobacco by Mancera. But this is a good, clean, musk, incense, and then Broxen fragrance. So those are the top three notes. You're going to get incense, musk in the middle, and then and Broxen and a little bit more musk. At the base I get a good seven eight hours after the six or seventh hour it becomes a nice skin scent but this is a slept on a lot there's not many vi videos on YouTube about this and I'm shocked I'm surprised I'm like why this is one of their better fragrances Lafayette Street gets a lot of love so does Grimwich Village and um, Scent of Peace but this is slept on compliments yes now it's not gonna get you a whole bunch but i've gotten compliments and this is also a good layering fragrance so if you put something else like um blue de chanel parfum i think that would layer well i will put this on first and then i'd spray blue de chanel and it's going to complement each other well because it's almost like in the same realm as another 13 or uh, Juliet Not a Perfume. It's not so subtle like that, but I definitely think that you can get away with layering because it's one of the musky fragrances, in my opinion. Also, when is this appropriate? I think you can wear this at all seasons, any occasion. Even if you're in the medical field and you're not really supposed to be wearing fragrance, if you go light on this, this is one of those fragrances like Another 13 or Molecule 1, where it's like a pheromone, almost musk, it's musky. If you go light on it, it's one of those fragrances where you can't really tell you're wearing anything. It's, yeah, you get the Embroxin definitely in it. I can smell it off the cap and the incense. But this is slept on, man, and I don't know why. It's really a good fragrance. I definitely think you guys should sample it. Of course, I always tell you guys to sample it. And then make your decision, but it's definitely worth the sample. Look at the bottle design in the back. Now you get that in the front. And then this is the container. I got this off of Joma Shop. Show you guys in the front. But definitely a slept on fragrance. I think you guys should sample it. And yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, like, tell me more what I should sample what I should be buying, and I've definitely got to let you guys know is my honest opinions, and yeah.